Hello, I wanted to give you a quick welcome to Anatomy and Physiology. My name is Dr. George Cornwall, and yes, that is my given name, and it is not really a normal name for a woman anywhere. Um, I want to let you know that I'm a real person, and I'm here to help you succeed in this course. So if you need me, you need to let me know. Um, I put together this quick introduction, first of all, to orient you to the course and show you around and explain a little bit about how the course works. First, a little bit about me. I have a PhD in biology from the University of Colorado at Boulder, and I've been teaching online since 2002. I'm super passionate about delivering quality online courses, so I really hope that you enjoy this course. Of course, it's going to be challenging, but it will enrich your knowledge base and prepare you for the future in whatever field it is that you're headed into. So first of all, the best way to get a hold of me is using the inbox right here in Canvas. So you can click right here, it'll open it up, and you can communicate with me or anyone else in your class. The next best way is probably to show up to my WebEx office. I do have a WebEx office that I maintain open throughout the day, most of the day during the week, sometimes on weekends. Anyway, you can come in here, we can uh, share the screen, we can share video, face-to-face -face meetings, or just audio, um, however you want to do it. The next way that you could get a hold of me would probably be to send me a text message. I'm totally open to you sending me a text message if uh, perhaps you end up in my office and I am not here. Uh, you might want to send me a quick text and say, hey, can we meet in your office right now? And I will get here as soon as possible because I do go out for a run here and there um, and might not be at my desk because I could be teaching a live class or in another meeting. So, um, yeah, send me a text if you really super need me and let me know who you are so that I can get back to you. Once again, I'm here to help you and I can help you here with anything from providing you tutorials on content and even perhaps helping you out with some technology issues if you should run into any of those. So next, let me show you around the course a little bit. When you first land in the course, you'll be here in modules and chances are, if you're already watching this video, you've made it here successfully already. So first steps done. Um, there are two key things that you're going to do here in the Start Here module in the course orientation. Um, well, a number of things. First of all, I want you to read through each of these pages. Uh, you can click on the instructor information and from there simply click on the Next button uh, in order to make your way through each of the pages um, of important information that you need to know before starting the course. So back in modules, two important things that you'll be doing in here is accessing your text. So accessing your text, you'll be going into the McGraw Hill site. I have a tutorial here to help you get set up in Connect. Um, you do need to purchase access to Connect as Connect is the platform that we will be doing most of our learning activities as well as um, our exams and it is the place that you will find your digital text, two versions of it. Um, if you really prefer a hard uh, copy of your text, once you have paid for your subscription, you will be able to uh, order a hard copy loose leaf um, for very much less than um, a hard copy of the book would normally be. So there's all sorts of options in here for you. Um, we'll come back and take a look at Connect shortly. Uh, if you don't have financial aid money in yet, fear not. You have a free trial that will last two weeks to get you through the interim. So let's head back to the main modules page. Um, we look inside module one and it's split into each of uh, the weeks and what needs to happen during each of those weeks. Each module will start with a to-do list. So let's click on the to-do list and it will tell you precisely what you need to do for that week. Um, we have a course orientation module in the first week as well as chapter one. 
and these are specific assignments and the days upon which those assignments are due. So that's pretty clear. And then when you click onto the next tab, you end up at a page that has the course outline and learning outcomes. Now, outline and learning outcomes can be used also as a study guide, uh, most effectively used really after you've completed all the activities of the chapter to make sure that you have acquired all the information that you need to acquire. Before you approach any of the activities associated with the content, I recommend that you first print off the notes for each chapter and then you will watch the lectures associated with each chapter and you can take notes on those lectures. So here I have a link that goes out to YouTube or you can watch the lectures directly here inside of Canvas, but you probably want to sign up for my YouTube channel outside of Canvas. Um, that way you can take lectures mobile on your mobile device or however you like to watch them and get some work done along the way. So after you've watched the lectures and taken notes, you're ready to go on to learning activities and assessments. So clicking on the next tab, you'll be taken to our course in McGraw-Hill Connect. And in McGraw-Hill Connect, you will see that there are two activities for each chapter. There's the Learn Smart activity as well as an exploration. And so that goes for each chapter, Learn Smart activity in the Smart Book and exploration. Let's take a quick look at the Smart Book while we're here. So you've already reviewed what a uh, Smart Book is about. Here you can see that you've got sections to read that are highlighted in yellow. After you've done some reading, you'll want to go into the practice section and you'll tell uh, the system whether you know the answer, think you know the answer, you're unsure, whatever. If you have absolutely no idea, you can go directly into the text and read about that particular question. So you'll be taken to the area in the text, you can read about it and you can go back to the question and answer that question. So that's a quick intro to uh, the smart book activity. Let's now take a look at the next piece in this puzzle where we're going to go to the exploration activity. And the exploration activity will be taken above and beyond the content of uh, what was in the smart book. So Bloom's taxonomy is a hierarchy of learning, right? And so we start out here at the base of the pyramid when we're first exploring uh, material. And you may be able to remember some things, right? Recall some facts and recognize some terms. And then as we move up through the learning hierarchy, we may be able to understand things more so we can classify them and describe them, discuss them, and actually explain the ideas or concepts to another. Another step up is to apply, and then we can analyze, evaluate, and create is here up at the top of the pyramid. So when we consider the assignments and how I've scaffolded them, we are working first in smart book with understand uh, and remember levels of understand or levels of uh, of cognition, right? And then when we go into the exploration assignments, we're going to be working more in the analyze and apply. So you're not necessarily going to find the information directly in the text because you're being asked to use the information to draw connections among ideas or use that information in a new situation to solve some kind of problem, right? So it's again important that you do the smart book assignments before you do the exploration assignments. Now let's go back to the module view. Uh, we can see what's going on in week one if we work progressively through this. We've done our exploration, we've done our smart book, now we have anatomy and physiology revealed. So you'll access anatomy and physiology revealed through the Connect platform. You can see the cadaver dissection tool right here on the right hand side. Once you click on that tab, you will be taken directly to Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. And you will do what's uh, outlined in the assignment. So we can select the particular module. Let's say we're looking at uh, the skeletal system. We'll be taken to the skeletal system. Perhaps we're looking at dissections. We can select the particular topic. We're going to look at uh, thorax dissections. And we're going to look at, um, gosh, I guess we're in skeletal system, so we're seeing the skeleton. Um, we can see all the different tags on there. Um, I give you directions and a nice little tutorial on how to work with anatomy and physiology revealed. 
taking a quick look at the muscular system. Again, we can then go into dissection. Let's look at hip and thigh dissection. You can use the sliders here to peel off layers of tissue and show you the various layers of muscle. So anatomy and physiology revealed is a really amazing tool for learning the anatomy piece in this course. Going back to the course modules, you'll see that finally we have a diagramming assignment. Diagramming assignments are where you are asked to take it to the top level of Bloom's taxonomy and really apply what you know and put together a picture of all of the content for that chapter. So four things to do in each chapter. Uh, you'll have the smart book assignment, an exploration assignment, something to do in anatomy and physiology revealed, and then at the peak of the pyramid, the diagramming assignment. The way that you'll turn in diagramming assignments is simply to scan them in. There are plenty of great scanning apps that we can talk about in lecture and I can get you, or in lab, and get you set up with those. Finally, at the end of each module, you will have a module exam. The first one is only on uh, three chapters, so we call it a mini exam. I provide you with a practice mini exam and then the actual mini exam. The practical exam does not count for any points. Uh, the actual exam does count for points. Um, so the practice exam will give you a feeling of exactly how the regular exam will be. Now keep in mind that the exams are on the deep pools. You'll be taking them at home. Nobody will be getting the same exam. Um, so uh, it is open book, open notes. Uh, but you will not have time to really look anything up. This is where your diagramming is going to become especially important. Good diagramming makes you a good contract about what you know uh, for the exam, and those will be quick reference for you in taking the exams. So, um, something to keep in mind is the exams are also leveled according to Bloom's taxonomy, with the majority of the questions being in that remember and understand, and then there'll be some more challenging questions uh, from the application sorts of levels higher up in the pyramid. So expect that some will be very challenging and some will be much uh, easier for you in that exam. You may want to strategize and skip through ones that are difficult and come back to them. I recommend keeping a piece of paper by you to note which ones you're coming back to and sort of where you were um, with decisions on answers for those questions. Anyway, I hope that this orientation has been a useful one and that you feel pretty solid about the course. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do drop into my WebEx office, send me a message in the inbox, and if you really, really need to, uh, send me a text. Let me know that you need my help. I'm here for you.